Hello my fellow lymph nodes, I'm Mr. Church and I'm going to be experiencing the atrium for the first time. Have no idea- <gasps> ah! What the fuck? Why is that so big? Oh my god. Okay. This is really nice. So I guess the first thing we're going to do is try to find a suitable spot to place it. Um, once it jumps up and down like a squid a bit. Now, this is my first time experiencing the atrium, so... I have no idea what to expect, and it's going to be fun, so let's build something. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, it'll be fine. Let's see. Okay, so initially my thoughts are... They had better have fixed the floor. But also, this is a nice space, really big. We can make some stuff in here as long as the budget is big enough. I don't know what I'd... Oh no, I fell. Yeah, there's garbage there. We can cover that up, maybe. Um, yeah, so far this is looking really stoop. Ah, good. Let me look up these way too wide stairs down this hallway that's 40 feet too wide. Overseer's room? Yes. At least the floor isn't already there, so we don't have to wrestle with that. And they have not fixed the floor. Good. Great. I tried to put some things down to give the floor something else to snap to to hope that it would like keep it from going under there I gave it everything it could ever snap to in its conceivable dreams I gave it walls I gave it stairs I gave it a snappy tune by the pentatonics it didn't want to snap to any of those things it just kept shoving it under there and shoving it under there and then I, I couldn't do anything with that so with that said it's back to placing the floor on top of the floor and making everything too high. Because Bethesda is incompetent and stupid. And, uh... Oh! I mean, because it's got a few kinks they gotta work out, but a really competent company. Great game. Love it. My favorite. Now, the most annoying thing about this is we have to line this floor up pretty... pretty accurately, or it'll start to go one way or the other. In the small shelter, it didn't matter if we were off by a little bit, because there was space all around. But this one does matter, because the walls are going to be intersecting with that lip that's directly above us, if we don't get it correct. So, I'm just going to start from both corners and kind of try to meet in the middle, with snapping-wise. So, hopefully, it'll be okay. Um... I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to show you what I did to work around the fact that Bethesda sucks and can't fix a simple bug, and that is, I just threw these on top of it, and then, unfortunately, that's going to make your walls and everything attached to this that much too high for the second floor. If you have a second floor, which as you can see, you can snaps to the second floor, your walls from down here are going to be intersecting with the floor from up there. So you can't just normally... So I put a stair snapped to the floor, then put a floor on that stair, and then worked my way over to this upper level. Um, this will allow us to have connected floors above and below, and it allows the upper floor, if we want to add a balcony or something, it won't intersect with the walls at all. Which is good. Which is fantastic. And I think that this is probably going to be the best build that I've ever done. Because I'm angry. I don't know what I'm talking about. And because we have fewer rules up here. Once we put this piece, this floor piece up here, we can get rid of the stairs that are holding it up. Because we don't care about rules here. We just simply do not. Um, and I can tell you one thing, it's going to get really confusing getting familiar with the mechanics in here and then going above ground and trying to build up there. But anyway, I just thought I'd take a quick minute to say Shout out to Bethesda for being uh, 
unquantifiably fucked up failures. Yet again, I just, I want to say that if you are going to charge people money for something, it probably should fucking work. And I know this is a, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know. All I know is the atrium was released and it was 18 goddamn dollars in Adam shop money. And you can't even fucking put the floor in. I, I, I can tell you right now that dumb blue floor is not what you're supposed to have as the floor in here. That is green screen 100%. So then they release on top of that this $18 bundle which doesn't work and on top of that you know $5 in Adam shop money of carpets that are clearly designed to put in here. So when the game was I know it was launched too early on they accidentally unlaunched it too early but you've had week a whole week maybe longer I don't remember to fix that before putting these additional items in the item shop fix it before you release it you would think after the initial launch of the game they would have learned that lesson already but no today I get on They've dropped another carpet package, another carpet that you can't put in here. Like the fact that I have to make a tutorial to show you how to work around a brand new thing that, that you're supposed to be able to just snap the floors down into. I've got to show you how you can use the floor pieces that they're selling to you even though Bethesda doesn't let you because it's fucking broken. Now. I'm completely forgiving of Bethesda just having a glitch and they're just like, oh, we don't know how to fix it, blah, blah, blah. But you do know how to fix it if as soon as it starts hurting their income, they fix it. You saw that with a god mode glitch that was in the game for a year. In the second people used it to cheat the scoreboard, they fixed it. So now you're trying to tell me that you can't fix this, but you're going you're, to you're throw in more stuff for people to buy that you know they can't use. And that is disrespectful and shitty. I'm sorry, but it's shitty. So if you are watching this and you have not yet bought the Atrium bundle and you have not, or you have not yet bought the carpet bundles that are clearly designed to use in the Atrium, please wait. They're probably going to keep that in there for a long time because it's a big thing and they want to get every last bit of fucking money they can squeeze out of your wallet. Because one thing Bethesda clearly doesn't care about is you, the person that has kept this game alive even though it struggled like a fucking beached whale for a year after launch because they are incompetent. I'm not even going to pretend I didn't say that. They suck. And they only care about their money, so send a message to them where they'll listen. Don't get this bundle until they fix the floor, and you'll know it's fixed because it'll be fixed probably in your other uh, one that you have. But yeah, happy days! I finished the fucking vault! Look at it, it's beautiful. Um, I spent about 10 years of my life um, putting this together, and I actually do like how it turns out. It feels cozy. Um, I wish there was a little more budget in here because with such a large space it is obviously hard to fill it in a way that makes it feel lived in which is like one of my main things I stress over and over is make your build feel real and lived in otherwise it looks like shit but I'm sorry not that sorry though only a little mildly sorry for being pissed off at Bethesda because it's just disrespectful at this point I can forgive you when you first launch it, it's broken, blah blah blah, but fucking fix it before you charge people over 20 fucking dollars for something you know you can't use. It just, it's stag, it blows my mind. I'm not even going to begin to even mess with the lobby yet, that's coming in another video. But I thought it'd be nice to have a nice place where I could sit down and listen to music and fucking calm down. Maybe we can sing some lullabies. I don't know. It's just nice. I figure the people that live in here will be potatoes. They'll want something to entertain themselves. 
like watching that drip in the closet. But yeah, I've got this done. Um, I'm a joyful person most of the time. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Uh, up here we've got some living quarters I put in. And I know, I broke my own rule, I got the carpets, but listen, I think that they're great items. They just need to fucking fix the fucking floor. At this point, it's just, it's just inexcusable to release new items that you know people can't use unless they glitch out the game and work around it in a really, really not intuitive way. But I thought it was fun. It's always fun decorating here because you can just throw stuff where you normally wouldn't be able to. And I like the atrium. I Don't get me wrong. I, I think everyone should get it and play with it, but wait till they fix it. If you wait till they fix it, they'll, they'll listen because they want money. And if people aren't buying it because it's broken, then they'll fix it. And then everyone will be happy. We'll all be happy. Bethesda, please. I love you so much. But get your fucking shit together. Thank you. Again, clutter things up to make it feel lived in. This is a little work area. I had no fucking idea what to put over here. But, I mean, I'll probably play around with this. As time goes on, release some more atrium videos. This is just what I what I threw together in a fit of rage. So this is where you would like go to see the overseer waiting room. And this is, I know, naked and empty, but I was having some errors in here when I was trying to place stuff on the walls. It was saying it was outside of the build zone, so that's cute. They don't have a window for that circular hole, which is stupid as shit, because they have one in Fallout 4 for the Vault Tech. Uh, DLC um, but you know you can add a lot to this room there was a little bit of budget left I think I could probably put a whole bunch of stuff in the overseer's office but yeah this was my first time playing with it I had a lot of fun but I also would have more fun if Bethesda wasn't a nasty gritty selfish little <laughs>